Thanks for checking out this clip of Anatomy of the Church and State. Be sure to catch the full episode on Rumble or ChristiansForLiberty.com. Links are in the show description. Um, now, Adam, you were sentenced to 75 days in a prison camp. Tell us about the charges <laughs> and what, what, what was the day-to-day -day like in the camp? Uh, the charges, so the thing I pled guilty for, they dropped the felony theft because I didn't steal anything. And they also dropped the misdemeanor um, violent entry because I walked through open doors. There was no violent entry. I just careened through open doors and walked around and took a, a self-guided tour. The charge I pled guilty of is called uh, entering and remaining in a restricted building, which is fancy speak for trespassing. So um, I went to a federal prison camp for 71 days. I did four days in isolation um, at, a, at a local prison. Oh, um, yeah. They put me in one of those Jeffrey Epstein rooms. Very interesting. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, he definitely didn't do it. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> there's no way. So no um, way. anyway, that's an aside. That's an aside. Um, so prison camp, it was not what I expected. When I first showed up, um, I'm unvaccinated. So they put me in quarantine, which was just a unit with one other guy who was also unvaccinated. So uh, we were there for the rule was you stay there for five days until um, until you're cleared to get a, a negative COVID test. Even though you show up with a negative COVID test, they want five days because I don't know, magic numbers. I don't know. But every time someone new showed up, they restart the days. So we ended up being uh, in this unit, couldn't go outside, couldn't do anything for, I think it was like 16 or 17 days. But um, the first day I show up, um, there is a guy that comes down. He actually has one. He actually has the same attorney that I do. And uh, he brings me two trash bags full of like food, shoes, toothpaste, shampoo. And he's like, hey, man, don't worry. Like we take care of each other here. It's not like what you've seen in the, in the books and the movies. Like we don't really do that stuff here. It's not like that. Like we because we can't do that stuff here. Otherwise, they'll kick us out of camp and they'll send you to a place called low, which is not not a lot of fun. Or they'll mm. send you to the shoe, which is a special housing unit, which is definitely not a lot of fun. So after 17 days, I get released into um, basically like general population. And it's uh, it's like little cubicles. Uh, there's there's no like, you know, iron cage that I'm behind day to day. They give you jobs to do. You stay busy. I end up reading like 37 books. I ran 240 miles and I lost 20 pounds. So I stayed busy. <laughs> yeah, I'll say. <laughs> I'll say so. Um, geez, that's uh, okay. So you you're, you spent so you did spend four days in solitary. I did. I oh, did. Yeah. Gosh, this so was the that, initial so you, arrest. So you, had, so you have some a real real empathy for the people that had to spend years there. I do. I do absolutely. <laughs> there again, it, it's cruel and unusual punishment. It's a it's a violation. It's a violation of their rights. They're being held without trial, held without even charges. A handful of them still, and it's it, it violates so many rights and. <sighs> it's just crazy. I, I could go, I can go on and on about it. And these people, they have a handful of, you know, there's a lot of really good people who are fighting for them, speaking up for them. And they're not taking plea deals. They're going to court and they're getting extra charges added on because they won't take a plea deal because they won't plead guilty to things they truly believe they're not guilty of. So it goes, it goes before a uh, grand jury and they add six or seven more felonies. And instead of getting a year sentence that has already been served, they're getting 18 years. They're getting seven years. They're getting nine years. That's, that's wild. Um, apl applause to their bravery for standing up, uh, for their, their principles, really. Um, if they didn't, if they didn't, uh, commit a crime now, if they did commit a crime, obviously they should be punished, but if they didn't commit a crime that warrants 18 years in prison, uh, that's just wild to me.